Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling content, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I really do appreciate it. All right, so today I am back with another Thread Up DIY designer unboxing. So if you watched my last video, which I'll link here, it was a real good box. I'm not gonna lie. I think I've sold about four items from the box so far and I've grossed around $350. So it was a great box to buy. So naturally after that, I had to get another. They are kind of hard to catch. They do sell out rather quickly on ThreadUp's rescue section of their website. So you do have to check back frequently. Um, I think I have a referral link down below if you wanna, if you're new to purchasing on ThreadUp, you can save a little bit of money using my code. So there's that. Also, I wanted to do an, another little versus with one of my reseller friends. So my friend Ty actually ordered one of these boxes as well. So she is Lux Huntress on YouTube and Instagram, and I will link her channel down below. So let us know, watch both of our videos, and then let us know who you think got the better box. I don't know who it's going to be. I hope it's me, <laughs> but then I don't know. I think you kind of can't lose with the bo these boxes. They seem to just be really great, but maybe I'm just getting cocky too early. So anyways, so her channel will be linked down below. Go check it out. Now let's open this. I'm excited. I did cut it open already so we wouldn't have to do that business. But all right, this time they included a little receipt. It just says that it's a mixed designer DIY rescue box. I think it's supposed to have seven items. I think I couldn't remember that last time. So let's see what I got. Okay, I'm seeing clothing or some sort of accessory first. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, is What is this? Okay, it's a top. It's Gucci. If it's real, so there's the tag. If you know that tag to not be real, let me know. There is also some hardware on the top as well. Can you see that? It's gold. So here it is. It's just, uh, what do you call this? Like a pullover? It's very lightweight. It feels, the quality of the material feels really nice. Here's the tag on the inside. So. So far, looking okay. What does this say? It's 70% cashmere and 30% silk. I was gonna say the material feels really nice. So if this weren't to be real, and I think it is, it feels uh, very well constructed. So here's the flaw. There is, that's the inside. But here's the outside. Oh, you can't see it on the outside as well. Cause this, there's a snag, but it happens more on the inside and you just see it a little from the outside. So that's actually not that bad. I mean, I know why they rejected it. They wouldn't want to sell this, but that's, I want to sell that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, next, this looks like a skirt. Okay, cool, it's Burberry. So there's the tag, Burberry. So some of the tags look like this. I think this may be an older tag. It's 100% wool, which it definitely feels like, like wool. This is a size two. And I was gonna say, is that missing? No, this is here. I don't know, this looks in good condition to me. I don't, I don't so far see any flaws. I mean, obviously once I start photographing it, I mean, maybe if I were to nitpick it, there's just like a little pull there on the string. But this is otherwise in really good condition and I really like the print. This will be great for fall. I mean, it is a size two, which is a smaller size, but you know what, somebody wears a size two and that's all that matters. Okay, so, so far, Gucci and Burberry. <laughs> kind of not a bad group. I think I got those two in my last one. Okay, next item. Oh, another Burberry item. So this looks to be a, I was gonna say leather folio, but yeah, for an iPad, it looks like it's an iPad, just based upon where the buttons and lenses are made in Italy. This feels really nice. Um, it could use like a wipe, just it looks like it hasn't had a good wipe in a while, but none of the scuffing looks too bad. 
I wonder, I don't know what size iPad this would fit. I have, I, I probably have one lying around somewhere, but this is cool. Sweet. All right. I wonder why they didn't take this. Is it too masculine, do you think? And thread up sells women's items? I don't know. I mean, I don't think it is, but I'm just trying to think from their thought process. Okay, next item. It is a purse. And it is Rebecca Minkoff. You can see it down below here. This very faint silver script. Let's see the inside. I don't know what this style bag is of hers. I have sold Rebecca Minkoff before. I've sold like the mini Mac crossbody. Sorry, my dogs are in the background. The crossbody ones and those have sold for like anywhere from like $30 to $50. This does have some tags in it, 100% genuine leather. Again, it says Rebecca Minkoff in there. It's pretty clean on the inside. It looks really good. I'm just trying to see from the outside why they didn't. I mean, okay, I see like a little spot here, but I almost wonder if that could be cleaned off. And then again, one right here above that. I don't know. It's like, these aren't deal breakers for me. So when I see like these small of flaws, I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset by it. So, okay. Next item. Maybe my eyes said it all. Some more Gucci. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, this is a, it feels like the coated canvas. This is what it feels like. Um, I do see some flaws, but they are pretty small. Wow, this is really hard to see. Okay, there you go. Do you see it? There's like a little red, two little red dots there. It's not that bad though. I don't know if it could come out and if it can't, again, I'm not worried about it. Again, there is some on this side, so I'm not sure what it is. Do you see it there? Right along the seam. I'm like, is that the light or what's that? No, there is like a little bit of yellowing here. I know that sometimes the coated canvas, yeah, here it is as well. Okay, here we go. So I know that with coated canvas, it can yellow sometimes. So that's unfortunate. I'm curious if they'll do any repairs to this. Now I'm seeing it a little bit better. My ring light that I use is so bright that I can't tell initially. Uh, but there is yellowing along the seams. However, do I think that this is a reason that I somebody wouldn't buy this? No, somebody would definitely still buy this uh, in its current condition. I would just sell it, obviously priced accordingly due to condition. So again, it says the Gucci, little label in there. It is stamped on the other side of the leather. So yeah, this is cool. I do love Gucci. <laughs> okay, um, throw that there. Okay, this is a, I'm not gonna say it right, long chomp, long chomp <laughs> bag. I've never seen this style before. I usually pick up more of like that shopper tote. It appears that this is missing the large shoulder strap. Yeah, it's not in here. So, well, I was gonna say maybe that's the reason why it was in here, but there is scuffings and stuff here. I mean, this is fine. I still think it's a really nice travel bag. A small little travel bag you could take with you so this is awesome I'm excited about this cool uh, I think there are one there's one more item in here yeah <clears throat> last but not least it feels heavy oh wow what is this it's a very heavy leather purse I think yeah it's Donald J Pliner I saw a DJP but I just wanted to make sure before I I spoke so it's a leather bag with this, I don't know what you call this sort of handle. I'm like, almost looks like an ostrich. Mm, it's probably not, but anyways, it's a really soft leather. And then it has this closure that flips here. There's some wear to the closure on the front. And the inside is really clean, has like tons of pockets. I mean, if I wanted to keep this purse, that would be really nice to have all those different pockets. 
This is the sort of purse where you like check all the pockets. Like, did somebody leave anything in here? Can you imagine at Thread Up all the things that get sent to them with money in it? Now that I'm just thinking that out loud. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is a great purse. I like it. It's in great condition. I mean, you know, there's like some mild pen markings on the inside of the bag, but I don't know what bag doesn't have that. So, okay, just to recap. Yeah, that's all. I got the Donald J. Pliner bag. I got the Longchamp traveler small traveler bag I got the Rebecca Minkoff gray shoulder bag I got the coated canvas I love Gucci or love Gucci rather small purse I got this Burberry small little folio for your iPad Burberry skirt and Gucci sweater top long <laughs> anyway that's it guys I wonder how my friend Ty did. We should go watch that video now. Go check it out. All right, I'll talk with you guys soon. Until my next video, bye.